and I, and I click the templates area. And in the templates area, if I click, um, for example, project light. So we see on the left hand side, we have a template, initiate a project with tasks, execute a controller project with issues and status reports. Very simple. And that's the Brightwork template for project management. Now, if I add workflows to this template, I could add two, three, four, five workflows of the types we looked at, or of any other type indeed, of any other type indeed. What will actually happen is the workflows will get associated with the lists and the template. And every time we create a new project, we'll just show you how simple that is, sample area, create project. Uh, I should, of course, put in a better title and so on. Uh, and we just go to the second step and we select a template. And when we select that template, all the project management and all the automation are naturally bound to it. So all you have to do is set up one template with the project management you want, the automation and workflow you want from Nintex, put them together in that template, and every project that's created thereafter carries that project management and that automation with it. So it's pretty straightforward. And the thing we added to Template Design Sync is SharePoint 2010 workflows and Nintex uh, uh, Nintex workflows, which represents a massive amount of of workflows in use out there. So what so what does all that mean? All right. So I've I've navigated in this free trial area using our base product to the templates area. So in the templates area, we ship templates out of the box, and you can use those to create your own templates, or you can create your own from scratch. The idea being that you would have different templates mimicking the differing amounts of project management you wish to deploy. So for example, here is a template that we call project standard and it has an amount of project management tasks and risks and resource reporting and status reports and metrics. So that's available out of the box and you can configure and change that. And then new projects are created from that template. So so that's all very well and good. I mean, it's fabulous, really, because it gives you a very good start. But what happens? What happens if you have 10, 20, 30 projects in flight, and you're wondering, and you want to change the template? How do you keep those in sync? How do you manage those processes? How do you manage and replicate those best practices that come from your experience? So what you actually do is you go into the template, and you click Settings and you click Site Settings, and you navigate down to the Brightwork Settings, and you click Determine Template Usage, and click Locate. So what's happening here? You're basically saying, go through my SharePoint environment, find all the projects that are using this template. Now, this is just a sample site, so I, I only found one. So I'm going to click on that one. Actually, before I do that, I, I could actually, um, let me show you. Imagine if I did this change. You know, imagine if I went into the documents area. Imagine if I went into library. And imagine if I went to workflow and added a new workflow. Uh, if I had Nintex installed on this server, then Nintex would appear here. And I could be adding a Nintex workflow or a SharePoint workflow. Uh, or imagine I did that workflow added it to risks or tasks or issue escalation, whatever it is that workflow would be for. So in this scenario, imagine I've gone to the template and I've made changes. You know, I might have added a report, deleted a report. Maybe I added risks because I didn't have them in before. Maybe I changed the risk list. But in this example, I'm focused on the workflow. So I'm now, from my template, I'm clicking the link and I'm going to look at the actual project. So here's an actual project in flight that was created from that template. And you can see it's instantiated with data and charts and stuff that's on time and stuff that's late and, and so on. So this is an actual project in flight. 
And I've heard about these changes to the template, and I like them. So what I do is I click my settings, I click site settings in my project, and now I click under brighter settings, synchronize with template. So what I'm basically saying is, I'm in my project, please go to the template, find the stuff that's cool and new, and bring it into my project. And, and there's a, a load of items here uh, that I could change that have been in there for years. And this is the new one we added, which is the workflow sync. This was a bear, an absolute bear. We actually thought we'd get it out in the July release, and there was just so much in it, so many permutations, combinations. You know, think about it. You, you add in a new workflow, or you update a workflow, and there's already workflows, and maybe those workflows are running. So when you sync in the new workflows, or the updated workflows, what does that do to the ones that are already in the site? So there's a, and then do that for SharePoint and Nintex ones. So there's a massive amount of engineering uh, in this. But it's all, and then the testing permutations were like wild. Anyway, so now it's all in and built and quality and working and fabulous. So here, for example, I can, I can sync in new workflows that were added. I can sync in updates to workflows. I can maybe delete ones I want. And then when I run, and there's a log, I can have a log of what happens. And, and then when I've all that done, <clears throat> what it will do is it will take the changes from my template and bring them down. In this case, I elected to take them onto my project in a time frame that's suitable for me. Um, we could do the opposite. We could say we got 30 of the projects out there and we're going to give everyone notice and on Friday, we're going to replicate the changes out for people. 